What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here today. I have a little discussion. Auction versus buy it now. Uh, this is a question I get fairly often about, you know, should I listen to an auction? Should I bin this? Auctions suck right now. My cards are just sitting. No one's getting views on it. What's the right thing to do here? How do I sell my cards? There is, first, there's no perfect answer. The situation is going to be different for everybody. It, it, it really depends on, do you need to move the card or can you be patient? And are you, do you have realistic expectations for your card and its price as well? You know, if you're, if a card is comping regularly at $400 and you're trying to get 500 for it and you really want to get 500 for it and you think it's worth 500, but maybe it's the wrong time of year or the player hasn't popped off yet, whatever the case might be, then you are probably going to have to list that thing at bin best offer buy it now and be extremely patient with it. Not everyone is wired for that. Not everyone has the financial situation to sit around and be patient. And I get the appeal. You know, there's tons of debate when you talk about comps on cards and it's like, ah, oh, well, I don't use auction prices or I only use buy it now or I don't use this and I don't do that. And like I've said in previous videos, people use whatever one is advantageous to them. If they are buying, they're going to spin the story to whatever version of that is advantageous to them if they're selling they're going to spin it to whatever one gives them the higher comp to base the price off of and they'll probably flip flop back and forth depending on the person that they're talking to so it it, it is what it is take the last three or four sales if it's a card that sells frequently average them together done whether it's bins auctions whatever personally i think auctions are actually probably the truest value of the card in most cases assuming there's not some wild and crazy it ended at Sunday morning at 3 a.m. or something crazy like that. Generally speaking, and like I said, there's no perfect rule for this. Everyone's going to be a little bit different. I don't necessarily need to sell cards immediately to pay for a PSA sub or anything like that. So that's kind of where I sit. Usually when I get cards back, I like to list them bin slash best offer initially. I'll usually let it marinate for a week, put it out there, what my price is. I do, I'm going to stick strictly to eBay here because let's be honest, that's where most people sell. I do typically promote my listings, at least for best offer buy it now. I'll put like one or two, whatever the minimum, whatever the minimum is, is what I put. I think it's 2%. So I'll throw 2% on there on a promoted listing. And I sell a lot of cards based off promoted listings. I really do. I mean, it is what it is. You got to pay to play. I'll pay the piper and I'll let it sit for like a week or two. If it's nothing, if, if there's no like event coming, like if it's a football card and the player is about to go into the playoffs or whatever, you know, different story. If it's uh, Juan Soto, I'll, I'll use him. Actually, Juan Soto will be a good example for this. If I just got a Juan Soto card back or I was looking to move a Juan Soto card right now, I actually would not price it at current comps. I would price it higher uh, because of the trade news that it either it may have come down before this video even launches. If I really wanted to move the card, this would be the time to make the case for the auction. Listen, sometimes you have to force the action, especially if you want to move the card. You can sit there with your best offer, buy it now, send offers out to people that are good deals, hope they accept, hope they counter, Hope they don't come in at 20% comps, whatever the case might be. Every once in a while, you have to force the action. And that's why a lot of times I will use auctions, even though, yes, you know, auctions are ending at record lows. All the cards that sell at auctions are going to zero and that narrative that's out there. But you got to pick your spots. You can't just send everything to auction, but certain cards make a ton of sense. Go back to Soto. Perfect example. If I had something Soto right now, I would play into the hype of the market. A lot of times people say, uh, we'll use a, 
Pink Refractor, for example. I linked one last night on, on the eBay listings. That card was selling for like 350 375 whatever it was. It just recently jumped up to 450 on some auctions that ended tonight. I'm recording this uh, Wednesday evening while all the Yankees rumors are going on. In a lot of cases, and people always ask this question, why do the auctions sell for higher than the bins when there's bins cheaper? People just, for whatever reason, they don't want to pull the trigger and be like that fresh new comp. Like if the card regularly sells for six, 350 it doesn't feel good to run out there and smack the bin on a $400 or $450 card. You want to try to get a steal. You want to try to get a deal. You want to get it as cheap as possible. But if you run the card at auction, people get caught up in their feelings, feeding frenzy. Maybe the news comes into your advantage. For example, right now, what's going on with Soto? Let's keep using that as an example because it's kind of perfect timing for it. And that could drive prices up and it may end up outselling what you had it listed for best offer by it now. And it may end up selling for higher than listings currently out there. Now, you could get risky. I typically don't do this. Like with football, I've seen people have, you have a lot of success with this or it could blow up in your face. Where you will end cards shortly after a game is set to end. You could really take advantage of this in the playoffs. Like, say, obviously he's hurt right now, but like, if Burrow wins this game, they go to the AFC Championship game. Or ex-young quarterback let's say cj stroud gets into the playoffs and he's about if they win their next game they go to the afc championship game i would be running auctions to end right after that game because sometimes that's the peak of the market and you let that feeding frenzy run wild now there's risks to auctions as well obviously things can blow up in your face and the whole non-paying thing. That's still rampant. That feature, auto pay for auction, is not rolled out to everybody yet. So there is a risk of that, that you might miss your window because someone bids it up, doesn't pay, and then you get luck, stuck holding the bag because you have to relist it. I typically don't have a ton of problem with that, but it is something to kind of file away. Even, let's take the, because right now we're kind of talking about like hyped cards or timing the market or things like that. I have recently had a lot of success, not a lot of success, but a decent amount of success selling like $20, $30 cards on ComC via auction. This is not a sponsored video. But I had some PSA 10 tops now Ellie De La Cruz's. They're like $20 to $30 cards. Nothing crazy. I'm, I'm basically breaking even the losing money at them, selling them at $25 to $30 with grading fees and cost of the card. But that's what they go for. It is what it is. I had them sitting on my uh, ComC, which posts to eBay at, right at or around market price, give or take a couple bucks. Someone could have come up, smack to buy it now anytime they wanted to. They weren't moving. They sat for weeks. Uh, recently, comc has been doing a lot of like auction things. And I said, you know what? I, I just want this gone. Uh, there's only going to be, and I, you could say it's a bad time to sell baseball. I get it. But there's a counterbalance to that too. When, when people say, talk about like, it's a bad time to sell X, Y, or Z things, specifically baseball right now, you also have to spin forward. Sure, March might be a better time to sell that Otani Ellie De La Cruz Tops Now card. But even if his market goes up, supply is probably going to increase. How many of those are still sitting at PSA waiting to be processed to come back? That's the tricky part. All that inventory hits the market. Now the price of your card comes. Even though the price of the card may trend up, demand might trend up. There's so much supply still coming to market, even if it would be a better time in air quotes to sell it in March. Sometimes it's better to sell it in the wrong time to beat all the other ones that are going to be coming to market. So kind of keep that in mind as well. But kind of got a little off track there. But those cards, you know, I said, screw it. I'm just running them at an auction. Let it rip. Whatever happens, happens. I, I was content with if it sold for $5 or $25, I was fine with it. Guess what? They ended up selling for right in line what I had them posted for. I think because I had multiples. I think I had them posted for $25 or $30 a piece. The auctions ended at like $26.99, $27.99, $25.99 in the three that I sold. The PSA 9, I think I had it listed for $15. It sold for like $12 or $13. 
sometimes you just have to force people to take action, especially on stale inventory. Like, would this is another thing we've talked about in the past? We'll use that same example. The twenty-five dollars I have for the Ellie Daily Cruise, I have it listed at twenty-five bucks. The hopes and dreams of that card going to, and you can replace it with any card you want. A Corbin Carroll refractor that sells for fifty bucks and a PSA ten or an SGC ten, whatever. Yes, it's the off season for baseball. Am I better off to risk holding that card for three months to Corbin Carroll to get hot in March or whatever, or the lead up to the season that maybe it goes up a little bit? And what am I going to make? Maybe an extra, what, 20 bucks, 15 bucks, 10 bucks. That's assuming that more inventory doesn't come to market. Am I better off to risk waiting to increase the sale, maybe 10 or $20 in the spring or Instead of listing it at bin and it's not selling at bin, I run it at auction. And let's say at auction it ends for, because I forced the action on it, it ends for $46, $45. Couple dollars less than what I wanted for it, whatever. Now I left 20 bucks on the table, but I have now freed up $45. I can now take that and apply it to the next thing. And the next thing might have better upward momentum than the inventory I am currently sitting on. So if you're sitting on a bunch of stale inventory on your eBay store or your eBay page, or just laying around your desk, what would you rather have? Just auction it off, sell it for what it is. Would you rather have the actual cash in hand to be able to go make better moves, better investments, better plays, something for the PC, whatever the case might be? Or are you better off to let that inventory marinate? Which which one is going to have the better chance to increase in value? The stack of cards and your hopes and dreams or turning it into cash and using that cash to go do something else with it? Maybe it's, hey, I just need to purge these, take that money, go buy a bunch of raw stuff, send it in, get it graded and take another swing at the bat and see what happens. Or are you better off to let that card just sit and not sell? I get it. Listen, it sucks taking a loss. It blows. But sometimes that's the right play. There's plenty of videos on that on this on this channel talking about taking a loss. It's the hardest thing to do. People just do not want to do it. And there's a lot of risk with auctions right now. There absolutely is. Factor that in. But sometimes you have to force the action on things, and that's where auctions come in handy. You can also get cute and try to time things. Especially when a player's hot. The, one of the mistakes that I made, I think one of the biggest mistakes people make is just sitting on stale inventory and just not cleaning it out. Don't get caught up in your feelings. Don't get caught up in the hopes and dreams. Take a good, hard look at what you got. Is there a realistic chance for whatever it is to go up to whatever magic number you need it to get to or for someone to smack the bin? Or are you better off just to run it at auction and maybe you take 5% less because you ran it at auction, but you freed up the cash? Curious for your thoughts and comments, as always, down below. Catch you on the next one. Peace.